I'm Debbie Fleshman. I'm a nurse practitioner at Alliance Express Urgent Care in Covington. We are currently available to test anybody with symptoms of fever, fatigue, cough, shortness of breath, sore throat, or any symptoms that are concerning for COVID-19, flu, or strep. Hello again. It's Monday, October 26, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The city of Covington put on a very popular Pumpkins in the Park event last Saturday with several hundred area kids and their parents dressing up for the occasion. Cars Unlimited members offered a trunk or treat free candy event nearby and the six full band played for three full hours. <laughs> The Allegheny Highlands YMCA held a successful Harvest Festival event on Saturday, featuring some interesting vendor offerings and a membership special as well. I'm going to also be taking on a uh, clothing line, uh, you know, a hiring clothing line. Um, I kind of put it out there, got the feedback on it, and everybody was kind of excited to have something other than other stores in Covington to shop at. So um, I'm excited for it to launch here, hopefully within the next month. This is, I, I call my Greenbrier scarf. It's a cable knit on small needle, needles with uh, a little gold trim. This is a very warm, furry, doubles as a what mask. A item. And now a word from our sponsor. The Community Foundation for Rockbridge Bath in Allegheny announced on Monday that it had just awarded over $260,000 in regional grants to several agencies. A complete list is available on AlleghenyJournal.com right now. Oliver Butch Reed, a Clifton Forge Town Council candidate, was interviewed by the Journal earlier today. The longtime local businessman stressed support for keeping things moving forward. The complete interview is on AlleghenyJournal.com right now. So I think I'm the candidate that can bring us back together. You know, I have no agenda. I've spent $300 on my campaign. I've had $160 of un solicited uh, 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 contributions, you know, and the other cancers spend a lot of money. So I'm just running on my reputation. Everybody knows me, they're the good, and unfortunately they know the bad. Yeah, Clifton's always cooperated. Clifton Forge had the foresight in the, like, the early ages give up the school system, you know, which, you know, if they didn't do that, we'd be in bankruptcy. They also had the foresight to give up their city charter, and I think cooperation between, uh, uh, you know, the county and the, and the uh, city is there. I think you have a new direction from Covenant, especially you know. And we'll be right back.
Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Elaine Stinnett, 86, formerly of Iron Gate, died Thursday. Bonnie Hall, 76, of Lomore, died Thursday. Max Miller III, 28, formerly of Rockbridge County, died last Wednesday. Sandra Herman, 76, of Covington, died last Friday. Myra Erskine, 71, of Lewisburg, died Saturday. John Martinez, Jr., 54, of White Sulphur Springs, died October 17th. Marshall Colvin, Jr., 63, of Hot Springs, died Thursday. Sandra Ollard, 65 of Covington, died on Saturday. Charles Downey, 70 of Rockbridge County, died on Friday. Carolyn Beverly, 70 of Clifton Forge, died Friday. And Dolores Riddlebarger, 85, formerly of Glen Wilton, died Sunday. More information in all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Now it's time to check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 71 and a low of 54. On Wednesday, partly cloudy with isolated showers, high of 71 and a low of 57. And on Thursday, mostly cloudy with showers likely, high of 71 and a low of 49 degrees. And that's the way it is on Monday, October 26, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.